my name is Hassan Sadri. I'm a uh, Swiss board um, certified orthopedic surgeon and specialized, subspecialized in uh, hip and pelvic surgery. Um, initially open and now more and more minimal, invasive, and arthroscopic. Um, and I work in Lausanne, uh, Switzerland, which is about 40 minutes from Geneva. Yes. Uh, at least a doctor, and um, um, then I might have had an idea of becoming an engineer. Uh, and I um, uh, went there, you know, to one of these engineering schools, and it was so impersonal and so uh, um, cold, and people were just, you know, um, not contacting each other. So I thought, okay, engineering is not for me. I need more human relations. So when I started medicine, um, finally I took the branch that was more uh, mechanical and more, you know, scientific that I found, and that was orthopedic surgery. So that, that's why I became an orthopedic surgeon, <laughs> to combine engineering and surgery <laughs> with the human relations. Oh yes, all the time, all the time. There's not a single day where uh, I don't think about mechanics, and, uh, and sometimes I have to go back to the books and read mechanics, so, yeah. It, it goes from the instruments um, to the basic mechanics of, you know, pipes and tubes and things that, that uh, have to be put together, um, and also, you know, uh, the me mechanics of the body. Uh, we, we, some things we know and some things we don't know, we have to study. But yeah, it, it does it does match. <laughs> I'd say there are two. I can't say there's one. One is Reinhold Guns, Professor Reinhold Guns from Bern, uh, who with whom I did my fellowship training. Um, so I think he he uh, shaked me around to put my head in the right place and. Um, uh, my former uh, boss, uh, uh, Professor Hoffmeyer, he was a shoulder surgeon and um, he probably sh shook me a little bit less, but uh, that helped me also. So two, two people. Now, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure I know if I've made uh, mistakes like that because I have no comparison um, so you know I don't know if you've heard about the butterfly effect uh, so if I have to go back I don't think I would have changed anything <laughs> but because I don't have the comparison to see what what the difference would be well we still have a lot of problems in in my field I'd say something that is I'm obsessional about is uh, cartilage lesions uh, and um, I still think that it's a huge problem and we haven't solved it, so hopefully before I die, maybe I could help that to advance. <laughs> I'd say that that would be the, mo the most important challenge. Um, uh, so many people have been struggling with it and uh, it just becomes an obsession, you know, like uh, some people want to put the 18th hole inside, you know, and golfing, so <laughs> that becomes the, the obsession of, uh, of a surgeon. Do whatever you love uh, and not to do what you feel obligated to do for obligational reasons or for financial reasons. Just do what you love and you'll be happy about it. Well, I think biology is going to become more and more um, a, um, uh, an important factor. So. Uh, the mechanical aspect is going to go uh, lower and lower in biology uh, as soon as we understand more of it, or uh, we've st understood a lot, but the, I, I think there's a lot of progress to do, so people will have all kinds of uh, cells, like we're taking tablets, and you know, they, they would be taking uh, these uh, extraordinary types of fluids inside the hip uh, that would heal the hip without, let's say, surgical intervention. Or part of the intervention would be uh, that biology uh, type of treatment. I think the instruments will evolve. We'll have more and more um, navigated instruments where the computer will tell you, like, we're driving, go left and right, do not go there because uh, you're going to get lost or danger, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Like, like we drive cars, I think that will help. Probably we'll have um, uh, head-up displays like uh, 
pilot uh, uh, pilots have in the planes that will tell them, uh, you know, um, this is uh, what you should do, this is what you should not do, and I'm talking about not uh, for our future uh, um, as it seems to be. So in those days, uh, we were like ex extraterrestrials. Um, uh, they, they looked at us like we were crazy people. Um, it was, I was so happy to find other crazy people who shared the passion with, with me uh, uh, so long ago. So um, we, we got together and we shared all our uh, joys and sorrows. <laughs> But it was very, very difficult at the beginning. Um, but uh, since we had uh, older colleagues um, uh, that were doing the surgery, that was easier, you know, to uh, to, to have as a burden because they, they 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 said it was even harder before. So um, I think we share that common burden that we've uh, we've carried so long uh, together. <laughs>